Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in once again and who am I going to play as this time? Again, I want to go for another character. I'm not quite sure who. Um, who's someone that we just don't have a lot of completion max has? I mean, Isaac is just absolutely barren right now. Let's just play as Isaac. Um, he has his D6, but we've done like nothing as him. I can't even remember what unlocks Isaac actually has. Now, I apologize if you can hear my... The fact that I'm chewing on something right now. I've, um, I found a, a very, very good coping mechanism during my diet. Of course, I've been dieting for, like, two months now. And, like, gymming it up. And it's all been going very well. But you kind of need, like, a coping mechanism or, like, something to kind of keep you motivated. And for me, at the minute, that has been uh, licorice. Oh, my God. I crave black licorice so much. I know it's one of those things that people either love or hate, but goddamn, I absolutely love it. It's one of the foods that I'm like, whenever I have it, I'm always like, this is the best thing ever. Why don't I eat more of this? And then I'll eat it for like a few days and I'll completely forget about it for like a few months again. Oh my god. But basically, I bought some the other week. Um, Just on the off chance, I've just bought some like hard licorice sticks and barrette. Is it Barrett? Barrett? Whatever they're called. Had licorice sticks. Quite nice. But then I was like, I want more, but they're kind of expensive from the shop I was buying them from because it was like a traditional sweet shop place and it was like £3. No, it's like, it's like £2.50 for like a bag of three or four of them. But like, that was pretty pricey. Um, So I had a look online. And turns out for like £20, you can get a box of 75. So I bought a box of 75. Um, And they're really low calorie. They're like... It's like 58 calories for one, and one of them can last me like an hour if I like chew on it and like suck on it, and get all the licoricey goodness out of it. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of sucking all licorice stick, and oh my god, I love it. And it's like, yeah, sort of satisfies my sweet tooth to get me through the day um, without having to. Oh hello, sculpted soapstone. Get a heart container started for. Wow, that's really good. Give me that now. Give me that now. Oh, actually, it's going to our cash room as well here. Um. So yeah, they're like pretty low calorie, like 58 calories for one stick. Last me a good while. Hmm. Now, if I get a bomb, I will play you. If I get a bomb, I will play you. It is worth. But yeah, it's like just one of those things to have like there's a nice little sweet hit that isn't like because it's like, it's made with like natural sugars. And that's pretty much what licorice is. It's like derived from licorice root. Which is basically like, it's, 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 it's some crazy like 40 times sweeter than sugar or something. It's crazy. Uh, but they derive like that natural essence out of it. And create it into a sweet. And it means that it's reasonably low calorie. I'm not going to say they're good for you. They're definitely not good for you. But it's like a good sort of sweet to, to have every now and again. Uh, like one, one a day or, or even less. Um, joyful. Chance to gain two times damage for a room when taking damage for the um, zero point eight times for the duration of the following room. Eh, don't really care about that. I'll take the wiggly snake. I like you, wiggly snake. Um, I would like the bomb though. There, it's a little bit sad that I didn't get a bomb because I would very much like one for uh, playing that playing that beggar boy. It is a bit sad. But yeah, what's what's sort of your food for that? What's what's a, a food that you can really get hang up on? It kind of cures away all of your cravings, and it's maybe something that you that you forget about a bit too often, but you always sort of come back to and really enjoy, and then periodically forget again. So I feel like everyone has that, where they have a food that they really really enjoy, and always just like have a time where they'll just completely forget it exists for a while and not have it for ages, and then you'll come back to it and be like, oh my god, I love this, it's so nice. And yeah, it happens all the time. But now that I've got 75 of them, I shan't be forgetting for quite some time um, how delicious licorice is. Oh. But I gotta say, I like, um, for anyone that is curious about how I've been dieting, which I'm sure all of you are asking that question, my god, Turtle, my favorite Isaac YouTuber, I, I need to know how you're dieting. That, that's definitely the question on everyone's mind when they're watching an Isaac episode. But, um, <laughs> but basically, I've just been, like, trying to keep myself in a ridiculous calorie deficit every day. Um, bordering on the unhealthy in some, <laughs> in some regards, but I've been doing okay, so it's fine. 
Uh, unfortunately, we get the corn kernel. Um, let's go down here. A little bit sad we didn't get to do what we wanted that floor, but there you go. Um, but yeah, basically, I th it, it's it's the tried and true way of losing weight. Just keep yourself in a calorie deficit and you will do well. Oh, magic mush, lovely. Um, basically, if you don't know what that means, it means that you just like use more calories than you consume in that day. Um, and it's an easy way to do it. So like your body needs like 2000 calories a day. Um, so basically just eat less than that. <laughs> just like do eat like 1600 in a day and you are going to be in a calorie deficit because <clears throat> your body is going to be using more than that throughout the day, which means that you're going to be, instead of just using the calories as uh, that you eat as energy, you're going to be using your reserve fat as energy um, and therefore burning through fat. Um, and it's a really, really quick way to, to lose weight, but you can do obviously a lot more to, to get it down, um, to get your calorie deficit to be really fucking good. Um, as long as you're not doing it to, to the point where it's like actually unhealthy for you, whereas as if like you don't have enough energy for the day. But because I do a sit down job um, working at home, I don't need a lot of energy throughout the day. So I can go into a bit of a deeper calorie deficit than most people and be fine and not feel like fatigued. Which I, I know still isn't like particularly like super healthy, but I am trying to lose my weight pretty damn rapid. Um, we got ourselves justice here. Justice. Justice. Um, I'm going to try and do my uh, boss fight without losing my devil deal here, which is not guaranteed, definitely. Need to kill these guys as he poots them out. It's going well so far. Okay, my snake like poisoning these dudes as he poots them out, really helping out. Okay, awesome. Awesome. That went very, very well. Um, spawns one random capsule and five for every coin. Spawns another capsule and removes five coins. We'll only spawn. We might reroll that or come back for it. Um, I'll definitely take those two. Whenever an item spawns, there's a 25% chance it'll be pulled from the devil room pool instead. Tears up for each item that grants flight prevents flight. Sounds interesting, and I'll reroll this as well. Go ahead, it's pretty good. We'll take the look up. And I'm gonna come back to that once I have a bit more money, potentially. Right, okay, pretty happy with this so far. I remember we're getting a, a, a cont heart container every single floor, so spending HP like a mad bitch is pretty good. And also, works really well with Goat Head. Pairs very, very nicely with Goat Head. But yeah, I've been like, whoa, what the hell's going on there? I've been doing some like mad deficits where I'll. I've been trying to eat around, it's kind of hard to say exactly, but probably around like 1,200 to 1,500 calories a day, um, which obviously is quite a bit lower than the than the recommended uh, average for a male. It's like normally about 2,000 to 2,200 for a man, I think. So I've been going at about 1,200 to 1,500, 1,600 sort of range. Um, but then also on top of that, I've been going to the gym and doing, oh, that's both really good, um, and doing around 600 to 1,000 calories on the treadmill, which, I'll be honest, the treadmill trackers are kind of BS. I would not believe them. So what I tend to do is I only count about half of the calories that the treadmill tells me I've done. So if I do 600, I'm only counting 300 of them, which I realize is being pessimistic, but it's better to be pessimistic on that side than to be optimistic and think that you've been the, the amount it tells you or more. I just assume that I've always uh, and like I've always burnt less. And um, that's a good way for me to sort of keep track of it all. Um, I will take Dead Onion, thank you. Ah, oh, Parasitoid Tears probably would have been better. Dead Onion's still pretty fun because it's piercing. But we definitely need some shot speed increases now. I do like the piercing. Um, yeah, and that's been a really good way. So some days, like, my, my total... My total calorie intake, like in terms of my deficit, means that I'm, I'm technically overall, including my exercise, only having about 900 calories for the day, which means I'm, an, I'm at a 1,100 calorie deficit um, or, or, or around that, uh, which means that I'm losing like 
quite a lot of weight. <laughs> um, I'm losing like around a pound a day, uh, which I don't know what that is in kg, but um, still, it's a it's 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 a good amount, um, and it means that. It's not obviously not it's all it's not always gonna be a pound a day, it does vary. And of course I am having cheat days every now and again, which normally sets me back a little bit. But it gives me because I'm dieting so hard, it gives me leeway to have those cheat days and not feel bad about them, sort of thing. Which is another coping mechanism and way to sort of carry on through your diet. Is is if you're dieting hard, reward yourself. Give yourself those cheat days. Give yourself those days where you can just binge and do what you like. As long as you don't like purposely go ridiculously excess. Um, you're gonna do all right. Secret room here, maybe? There we go. Oh my lord. Okay. Keeping my, uh, my active item ready, my D6 ready for potential devil deals, because we're gonna be getting a devil deal at every floor. Remember, items have a 25% chance to be replaced by devil deal items as well, which is pretty cool of our torn wings, which definitely didn't used to do that. It definitely got changed. But now we can't get flights. We've got to remember that. We got golden brimstone bombs, which is kind of interesting. And that is a replaced devil deal, I'm pretty sure. I don't know what having two brimstone bombs does for me, really. I don't think much, I'll be honest. Tears down for a damage up in this scenario is fine. Right. Get gone. Okay. Liking the way this is looking so far. I'm going to do a stars card right off the bat. Definitely going to reroll that. Punishment of the Grave. A life respawns with four hearts on revival. If you take any devil deal, spawn a hostile angel boss, which will drop two items from the devil room pool if killed. If you've never taken a devil deal, instead spawn an item from the angel pool. Okay, we'll take that. It's a revive. It's not something I'm probably going to use, but there you go. Yeah, I think double brimstone bomb just unfortunately gave me extra bombs. It'd be cool if it gave you the, the doubled brimstone. Do you know, like, when you have two brimstones, you get that big brimstone. It'd be cool if the brimstone bombs did that. That's actually a mod that I would absolutely fucking love to see. So, uh, James out there has been creating um, mods that add new synergies to a bunch of, um, to a bunch of items. Great mods. Fantastic mods. I would lose my shit if someone like him um, did mods that basically added doublings to a lot of the current items that don't have doublings. Because there's tons of ways to get doubles of items. Obviously, if you're playing with um, Epiphany, you've got the golden items. But then there's a bunch of other stuff as well. Um, where... Oh, God. There's a bunch of other stuff like Diplopia and other ways to double items or get two of one item. And there are so many items in the game that have absolutely zero impact by being doubled or like very inconsequential impact by being doubled. I would absolutely love to see a mod that just added, a sh that just adds a shit ton, if not like all for the vanilla items and even modded too if there's the potential to have doubles because Fiendfolio recently went through and, and added the the doubled effects to a ton and I mean a ton of their items and yeah it'd be awesome to see the actual base game get the same treatment um, and then yeah if people got around to other mods as well obviously it's an absolutely ridiculous undertaking and there needs to actually be the ability for it to double and the idea there for it to actually work but like, it's kind of interesting because, like, of the items we have in our pocket right now, I imagine all of them probably double up reasonably well. I think, was that a thingy chest there? Um, so, like, false PhD, for example, won't double, I don't think. The snake would, it could just give us another familiar. The first thing we got would probably just give us two hearts um, per floor that we went down. The corn would give us another familiar. But, like, Goathead, Dead Tooth, they ain't, they ain't doing anything. False PhD probably doesn't do anything either. Brimstone bombs, we, we could clearly see, didn't do anything when doubled. And I think giving those some doubles would be super fun. Like, for example, um, if we take um, Goathead, maybe the doubled version of Goathead just, like, guarantees an extra Devil Deal item in the Devil Deal or something along those lines or spawns a Devil Deal at the end of the floor. I don't know. It, it gives you the extra option to take more Devil Deals. And, like, maybe the, the doubled false PhD just means that you get doubled stats for every pill. Um, or double black hearts, whatever. Um, 
There's just some really, really good options out there for, for different stuff like that. I think I'm going to take both of these. Both good. Um, yeah, and there's just some really good options out there. Because there's so many items that are just stats that have cost double normally. But there's a ton of items out there that aren't, that just... They don't have a great double. Either it doesn't really do what you'd expect or what you'd want. Or it just doesn't do anything when doubled. And yeah, it'd be super, super cool to see that uh, that tweaked or edited by someone. Because, um, like, especially when playing with Epiphany, it's kind of more noticeable that so many items don't have a doubled effect. But there's, like I said, there's just so many different ways in the base game to get two of one item as well. And then, like, imagine sort of there's, there's a few, like really strong doublings out there. Kind of like the Brimstone on Brimstone one, where it, where it really creates something crazy. Imagine there's, there's a few of them out there, um, and then you get like a death certificate, and you can go pick up a doubling of one of your items and really create something nutty. It's, it's like, for example, Ludo is one of my examples of um, not really working the way you'd want it to. So if you double Ludo, it, you just get a Ludo ball with a tiny little Ludo... Um, like, a tiny little secondary tier hovering around your Ludo Ball. And to me, that's kind of like, eh. It's kind of, it's kind of as described, yes. But I think there could definitely be something better and more entertaining as a doubling of Ludo. I don't know what it would be, um, perhaps. I mean, please feel free, you guys, to leave some ideas for this in the comment section below. That'd be really interesting to read through your guys' ideas of any doublings that you'd like to see. If there's any items that you think of off the top of your head that you think could have a really cool doubling effect that doesn't currently have one or is currently lackluster, I'd absolutely love to see this. And then, like, if anyone is watching or anyone came around to the idea eventually of making a mod like this that already have some ideas to go off of, it'd be really cool. It'd be really cool. I think that would be something that'd be very fun. Ooh, a planetarium. Wasn't expecting that. Definitely happy about it, though. We get... I don't know what that is, actually. I'm just going to take it. Oh! <laughs> that wasn't a planetarium item. Still a good item. That, that got replaced by our wings into a devil item. Still a really fucking good devil item, I I've got to say. We got pretty lucky there that it got replaced with something so good. But a little bit of a shame to lose out on a potential planetarium there. <laughs> Game kind of shattered us. Sadly, we haven't found our item room yet. We have to go back for that. Um, yeah, I think I think that's an idea that would be just awesome. I, I I honestly just really love mods that just build out what the base game is already doing and fleshes out some of the things. And it kind of feels like that vanilla plus experience that a lot of people chase after with modding. Um, it really builds onto that quite strongly. And that's definitely one of those ideas. I mean, like I said, James has already done such a good job with expanding synergies of quite a lot of, like, the cool tier replacer items out there. Um, I know that at the minute he's not working on any, but I think he said that at some point he's going to do Flatstone um, and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Um, tears up each time you take damage. Yeah, we'll take that. I gotta love the Gale pill. Kind of a, a sad commentary, really. Um, the Gale Pill tears up each time you take damage. That is Brimstone. <laughs> Alrighty then. Okay. So, Tom Wing, really, really good. Oh, also, we've got Wacky Brimstone. I forgot about this. Awesome. We've got Wacky Brimstone. Thank God I went back for my item room, right? Holy hell. And sadly, no Brimstone Bomb plus Brimstone Synergy. That is a missed opportunity. Well, here we go. Here we are. Gonna have a bit more licorice. Even though it slightly impedes my ability to talk. It's very tasty, so you're gonna have to forgive me. Secret room, lovely. Astral Beggar. I'll get you two pennies. A wisp. Thank you, good lad. Whoa. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. It's been so long since I've said that when I came across war. 
You watch, I probably said it the last time I saw him and just don't remember. Because my brain is small. Alright, get over here, you. Oh. Beautiful. We got another corn. I guess I'll take it. Holy shit. Sorry. So there's, there's the pact. I don't know what this is. It looks like a gun. I don't think it's a gun. Alright, the pact. What the hell is this thing? Guppy's collar. Okay, Guppy's collar. Guppy's tail. Oh no, I'll take it. The mark. I'm pretty happy. Oh shit. Did not intend for this. Ow. Didn't intend for that. Right. We're aware. We're aware. We get a heart container at the end of the floor anyways, remember? This item we've got fucks hard. Oh my god. This run. It has become something else. It's become something quite incredible. And I have to say, I'm in love. Reveals the boss room on the map. The boss room exit door is replaced with a door to the treasure room. Ooh, that's... I love... Love that idea. So basically, I just beeline it to the boss. Although this is Dank Depths 2, so I don't know if it'll work on this floor. What's this? Transfer a newly spawned item pedestal to be replaced with an item you already have. Will not provide you with... Comp okay, I'll take that too. I want a double brimstone. I want a double brimstone, and it could happen very easily with this setup. And it's also very in keeping with what I'm talking about in this episode. I feel like the game heard me and was like, oh, oh, I hear you like fucking doubles. I hear you like items that work as doubles. Do you? Do you now? I mean, we do have a lot of items that work as doubles, so it might not give us brimstone straight off the bat, but I'm hoping that we can get there. I absolutely despise this goddamn enemy. Just out of one bad experience I had with this fella. Brimstone. Gimme, give gimme. Give What's left of you? You've got to be Brimstone. Curse of the tower. Fuck you. Fuck you, game. Okay, go ahead. Oh shit, you almost pushed me straight onto it there. There's so much damage right now, it's kind of ludicrous. Gotta love it. We've got quite a lot of time left here. Take the Polaroid. Check this out. Okay, we don't know what we're in for here. Punishment of the Grave is an item that we already have, so I guess there's that. I'm gonna gamble real hard right now. I'm gonna take this and it's gonna kill me. I got the Pentagram. And Punishment of the Grave will respawn me. And then I fight the angel statue. And he gives me a choice of two devil items. And then I take it. I got the corn kernel. Okay, he just gives me two devil items. Then we fucking do it again. And we use punishment of the grave again to get another two. And we get more heart. Like, we're on more health than we were to begin with, anyways, so. A pound of flesh, not great, and that's fine. How much damage does this give us right now? Uh, 1.77, not quite enough. That was well worth it. Um, we also can come in here and see what's what. I mean, I might as well just take whatever. Oh, succubus, yes. Kingpin, straight off the bat, that is just rude. Cruel and unusual to give me such a horrendous punishment. Like, how is he not dead yet? Just, just, just be dead. 
We also got a Colonel boy up to uh, up to a level in which he's walking around, which is something I don't think I've ever seen happen. That, that punishment of the grave shit there, I'm pretty proud of myself for that. That was pretty cool. We're on good HP now as well. But yeah, we've got quite a lot of items that can potentially be doubled at the minute, so we're not going to get Brimstone super quick, especially when we can't see the items we're picking up. That doesn't help. What on earth's going on right now? Oh, we have, we have Curse of the Tower plus Brimstone Bombs. Nice. I forgot about that. That's actually pretty nice to know that we have those working together the way that they are. Pin, do you want to show your face to the fine people at home? I think we're at max gem level now, so I don't think I need to be bothering with this. We don't even have Lump of Coal, and this is killing very quickly. If we had Lump of Coal, this would be going nutty. I like the daggers that we're just periodically throwing out. Good, good, just keeping this going. Some waves are insta-kills, some waves aren't. You just gotta find out, I guess. Normally, two to three brimstones are all we need. We can get both here if we do it at the right angle. He's gonna jump on me. Don't worry about that though, we got him. Probably only a few more waves left here. Who, who's left? Is it Little Hornfell, whatever his name is? Oh, God. Didn't see that there. I don't know where this boss is right now. Okay, there he is. What's confusing me? Hey, Isaac's head's unlocked. And we get Brimstone. Eye of the Occult. Okay, we are good to go. This has been interesting. Mmm. Sweet. Sweet licorice. Yeah, and we do... Kind of wreck through rooms here. Which I very much enjoy. So we plow through the rooms right now. Unprecedented amount of beauty, uh, amounts of beauty. So a lot of duplicated items going on, and I like it. Can't believe we had that conversation about duplicated items and we got this trinket that just fit my rant so perfectly. But like I said, so many things do double normally with just like stats. Anything that has got a stat up on it is going to double. But so many things that are different that don't. That would be so cool if they did. I think we're at the section of the episode now, which tends to happen reasonably often nowadays, where we kind of... The commentary takes a back seat. We sit back. We enjoy the rest of the run. Kind of... I've kind of, like, had that formula to my content for a while, in terms of Isaac. I kind of spend, like, up until the womb... Like, chatting about random shit, going over all sorts of weird stuff. The Pact is here as well, hello. Um, Golden Sty. Um, I actually did get Golden Sty there. Don't like the fact that these cost me now. I'd rather just pay HP. Can I get rid of Pound of Flesh, please? <laughs> but for some reason, I got my double Sty regardless. Even though I didn't actually buy it. Not quite sure why, but I'll accept. Sadly, we need money. Didn't think about that. I'm going to see if I can get 15 here and buy another two styes, because that would be funny. That would be quite hilarious. But yeah, I've kind of taken that approach for a while now, where essentially I'll, um... I like... There's another sty. I like keep
keep my commentary flowing and sort of talk about random shit at the start of the episodes, and then later down the line, um, move it towards more Isaac-focused stuff as we get into the later parts of the run. Shouldn't have stuck around for that, should I? Whoopsie. Come on. Give me some more money, game. You know you've got it in you. That's a key. That's not money, that's a key. Lots of chaos there, what the hell? We've got three lots of chaos. We're at, we're five off. In the minute, we're five off. Just five pennies away from our dream. Go get this grey chest, whatever it is. Okay. Come on, game. Don't be this rude to me. I'm only five pennies off. Consolation prize. I'm going to re-roll that. Effigy's pretty good. Alright, last chest over here that keeps moving around. Goddamn cares for the maze. Right, I've got to attempt to open this bad boy and hope it gives me more money than I put into it. It may have. It may have done. Yes. Baby, yes. We got there. We got there. Pound of flesh, you cannot screw me as much as you thought once. We already have four styes. We're about to get two more. Oh, this one's it's not gold anymore. The hell? I mean, we got one more. I'm happy with one more. If not just for the meme. Game screwed me. At least we got money now. By the way, apparently you can blow these up for stuff. Yeah, wooden pickups. That's pretty cool. Didn't know about that before. Thank you for telling me about that. It's probably in the description. I just didn't read it. I'm sure. But yeah, blowing these guys up, pretty worthwhile. Get some really decent stuff. Yeah, money's going up. Pound of flesh is making us a happy, happy man. Mm -mm -mm. Licorice goodness. I'm so happy. You pressed all the buttons for me too. Thank you. Oh my god. It's a 15% chance game. Calm down. <laughs> like, no combat for you. You shall not fight any of these rooms. Oh, yes. As much money as we can get for the last floor. Make Pound of Flesh worth our while. Nice. Scorched Earth hasn't really done too much for us here. It's spawning fires everywhere, but I think the fire's like meant to shoot at enemies or something. I can't remember. It's maybe, maybe it's when we blow them up. It, let, let me find out. I think it might be when we blow them up. Okay, it is. I'm just a goober. I should just be destroying fires more often. Well, that's why we're getting, like, purple fires fucking everywhere. Looks a little dangerous, but it's 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 got a greater purpose. There we go. What up, mother? Last devil deal for us. We can do hush. Lost baby. 
And we get the marked again. Nice. The only problem with that is I wonder how many torn wings um, replacements it replaced. Right. Down we go. Give me Sty again. No, give me Brimstone again. You better do. It'd be super sad if you didn't. Pentagram. Five percent chance to fire a tier that activates the butter bean. Explosion on contact. Monsters directly struck by a soybean tier leave a link. Oh, okay. Sounds interesting. There's chaos. I mean, I kind of should take chaos, right? Right. In here we go. Pop the magician. Just to make things even easier for us. And just kind of chill out for a little bit, really. Kind of relax. Take a breather. Eat some licorice. It's a good time. It's a good time. Happy to report I'm having a good time. Shouldn't have walked into him there. But the extra bombs there, not bad. Should actually be using bombs here. They're going to be pretty damn valuable for the bomb damage itself. And the brimstone bomb damage as well. I reckon getting out all 20 bombs on this guy could lead to a very quick kill. I can't believe we get plus 14 damage within the radius of this fella. We really should be trying to stay in that radius whenever we can. Especially considering we don't have to aim. Such a huge boost to our damage. Okay, don't move during this attack. That would be very stupid. Already got hit due to moving to plant a bomb. Where's my little fella gone? He's out and about somewhere. Oh, there he is. I'm gonna say I don't see him, but. Definitely roundabout somewhere. We got him. Oh my god, this is just working a charm. Trying to skulk away from me. It's not that easy, my good guy. It's not that easy. Can't just go underground and fuck off somewhere else. I will find you. Again, so nice that I can just not aim at him and still hit him with all my brimstones. Okay, he's pretty much done for now. There you go. Easy. Fight, baby. Not very good, but there you go. And up we go again. I've not really got the health to do void right now, so I'm not going to risk it. Right, let's hope we go the right way here. We shall see if that ends up being the case. I would like to get a few more keys before we get to the next floor. Ow. Just kind of stood there and accepted that, didn't I? Oh, you got wrecked, my guy. You got annihilated. I mean, there's that health back, at least. Don't have to feel so bad for losing it now. Nice. Oh, my God. All the wrong ways. There you go, though. Look at that. There's the key. Bomb. Key. And bomb. There you go. Up to four keys already. That was easy peasy. I think we're going the right way here. It feels like it. Should probably open that. Eh, nah, maybe not. If we get another key, maybe, but otherwise, no. Right. Oh, beautiful damage there. Easy. Right, next floor. Speed run this last floor. See what we can get done. See if our items are any good here. Ooh, Isaac's tears. We're unlocking such good stuff. Wow. 
Oh. What the hell happened there? Okay. Well, the pact is obviously something we buy. Another mark, which will be our third. This is uh, that's our third pact as well, I think, yeah. Oh damn, we're going to second phase immediately there. I like that. We're actually killing him through his immunity phase, I like that. Well, we didn't need our keys anyways. So we've got them now. Sorry, Bean. I don't know if that's actually valuable with Brimstone. I'm hearing farts every now and again, so I think it is. Black Candle. Yeah, this Trinket's cool. I mean, you have to already have a good build for the Trinket to be worth taking sort of thing. But if you do, really worthwhile. That's another pack. <laughs> There's so much packed. Another succubus. Oh, this item. This item speaks to me. I love the animation it does as well. Whoa, what the hell? A very dippy dingle. We have created something quite godly here. Another eye of the occult. Add to the formula. Soul heart we can't pick up. Holy shit. That's a lot of gemstones. Charge up a monstrous lung style burst while you're firing. When releasing the fire button, the tier burst is fired in the opposite direction. I don't think we can do it with either vehicle. I don't think it works. All the chests for such low luck. I went to this room. Ah, oh, walked into a red poop. I was like, "What the hell hit me then?" Just a silly red poop. A <laughs> slightly scary room. Don't have any keys for that, sadly. Game. I think it's because I got Guppy's tail that I'm getting so many chests. Would like less that cost keys. Oh god, Hellfire with all of this. Kind of mental. Anyways, we're about done here. This guy does have immunity phases now, so we've got to be careful about that. Time things right. Either way, you have been nicely destroyed. And there you go. What a fantastic end to a very cool run. I hope you guys did enjoy this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.